Hi, this is Ikrofei from Spectra Audio. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use CV2 kit to calibrate your oscillators and play them in tune using a MIDI controller. So first of all, go to CV2 kit settings and make sure you have selected the proper input and output devices. In this example, I'm using an Universal Audio Apollo audio interface and an Expert Sleepers ES3 module. Now let's go back to the routing matrix and route the output of the notes module to out number one. In my setup, CV2 kit's out one corresponds to the first output of the ES3 module. Now, I'm going to patch the first output of the ES3 to the one volt per octave input of my oscillator and patch the triangle output into a mixer. Since the output of the oscillator is going back to the third input of my interface, I need to go back to CV2 kit and make sure that the input channel of the nodes module is set to 3 as well. Now I just need to adjust the level of my oscillator using the mixer and hit calibrate. CV2 kit will now start the calibration process. If the calibration is working correctly, CV2 kit will now start to draw a diagonal line on the nodes module. And you should be able to hear the oscillator frequency go from very, very low to very high. If you can hear the changes in the oscillator's frequency, but CV2 kit is drawing a horizontal line, make sure you have properly routed the oscillator back to your audio interface and selected the correct input channel in the notes module. The final calibration graph should look like a nice diagonal line. If you see any calibration points outside this line, you can delete them by shift clicking on the point. Now that our oscillator is calibrated, we need to set the notes module to receive pitch signals from our MIDI controller. Open the MIDI settings and make sure you have selected the correct MIDI controller you would like to use with CV2 kit. Then, select the voicing mode you would like to use. In this example, I'm going to use the monophonic mode. The monophonic mode basically receives MIDI notes from your controller and routes the pitch information to the pitch bus number one and the MIDI velocity to the gate bus number one. All we need to do now to play our oscillator in tune is to set the notes module to receive that pitch information by pressing the letter M on the keyboard to open the slot loader and selecting pitch bus 1. We can improve this patch by routing gate 1 to the second output and using that to control an envelope. Done. Now we can play our modular synthesizer using any MIDI controller. In the next video, we're going to show you how you can use the clock generator, the notes, and the sequencer modules to create a quantized sequence that can be synced to your ZAW. If you'd like to know more about CV2 Kit, head over to spectroaudio.com. Thanks for watching.